Phoebe's been looking for you. Hey, PB. Hold that thought. Sit tight. Uh, I'll be right back. Hello. Don't worry. I'm not springing anything terrible on you. Actually, you be the judge. So, you and your team are like a fungus, you know? You look and smell funny and you grow in the weirdest places. And somehow, you found root in my... Oh, it's so corny to say. In my heart. Ugh. I'm recording this so when I get antsy, and believe me, I will, just sit my ass down and play it. Shut up, PB free card. Now, if there's anything you'd like to preserve for posterity, say it at the beep. Oh, and then join me in the meeting room? Um, beep. Welcome to the team, PB. Glad you've decided to stay. So, uh, the reason I wanted to talk to you all... Uh-oh. Did you mutiny and jettison, Ryder? Uh, no such luck. She just showed up. Never thought I'd see PB having trouble getting a word in. Maybe I'm rubbing off on them. I just want to say, whether you all know it or not, I've had one foot out the door since I got here. And, well, that's gonna stop. I'm proud and happy to be part of this team. This... family. That... That's really it. Uh, okay. About time you caught up, kid. Yeah, you're one of us, whether you like it or not. Well, great. So, uh, my place is an utter mess. Who wants to help me clean it up? Think I left the stove on. I'm making ice. It's an ungotten holiday. Reports don't file themselves. Helping Liam make ice. But, but... Pathfinder, you have pending vid calls. Ryder, I was just about to call you. Everything all right? I've got numbers, coordinates, flashing in my head. I, I think it's an SOS from Mason. It could be coming from your salmon plant. He's sending me his location. We did find evidence that Natanus may be intact. What evidence? A bunch of stasis pods were jettisoned from the Ark. No survivors. But the log show had happened long after Natanus hit the Scourge. Someone's still flying the damn thing. Or keeping it afloat, at least. Here are the coordinates for my implant. Meet me there. 
We'll find answers. Approaching the nav point provided by Avatus. That's the Turian Ark. It's seen better days. Incoming call. <clears throat> Pathfinder, I think we're on the right track. No kidding. Is it safe to board? Only one way to find out. I'll meet you inside. Limited power. Life support's busted. Surprised there's any gravity at all. Looks like it barreled its way through the scourge by force. HO47C. It was supposed to be the Turian homeworld in Helios. Like Habitat 7. Whoever was piloting the Ark wanted to get here. No matter the cost. Even if that meant jettisoning entire sections of the Ark. It doesn't make sense. Come on. Speculating won't get us anywhere. We're lucky this part of the Ark survived. Looks can be deceiving, Pathfinder. The hull is barely holding together. Thanks, Sam. Always a ray of sunshine. I could provide analysis via the scanner, Pathfinder. Hey, the store's still got power. I wouldn't open that Pathfinder. It leads to space. Perhaps you could divert the power to a different door. Power has been diverted, Pathfinder. This one's still got juice. Looks pretty busted. Think your Sam can get us in? Only one way to find out. I found a log from Dea Preton, the Ark's captain. The video is corrupt, but I can recover the audio. Play it. Something's tearing the Tannis apart. Half the cryo chamber is gone, trying to get anyone awake to the escape pods. Spirits, there's no time. Find Mason. Dea was abandoning ship. She wouldn't leave unless the situation was dire. The Tannis didn't get here on its own. We need to know what happened next. The rest of the data on this console is corrupt. Perhaps if we find another. Or the Ark's sound node. All right, let's keep looking.
not going that way. Ugh, this one also needs power. Maybe we can use the same trick as last time? Divert power from something else? The door should now be operational, Pathfinder. Over here. There's still life in this one. Sam. Sam. How are we doing? Mason. Bring it back. Sam, help me out. Like the previous log, the video data is corrupt. What about audio? Repairing now. One moment, please. We need to remain objective. Yeah, I've never been objective when it comes to Mason. Try, for his sake. Playing audio now. Sam, how far to Abby's pod? 300 meters. <laughs> An easy stroll then. Damn it! Maybe not so easy. Where's the rest of it? That is all I could recover. Damn it. He was looking for your pod. Do you remember anything before waking up on Havarl? I told you. My first memory was clawing out of my stasis pod. Then we keep looking. That door leads to the SAM node. We've got to get in there. Surprise! It's locked. The SAM node should now be accessible. Sam, where's the Pathfinder? Where's Mason? Avi. 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 Commence. Stars. Avi? Isn't that what Mason called you? He's the only one who calls me that. My counterpart is suffering from severe trauma. If I partition the damage, it may be able to speak with us. Be careful. I don't want to lose this, Sam, because we rushed for answers. Avitas Riggs. Welcome home. Sam. Mason sent coordinates to this location. I need to find him. You are mistaken. I sent the coordinates. What do you mean, you sent the coordinates? The Pathfinder ordered me to help Avatars find a home for the Turians. I located our destination, HO-47C, then sought out Avatars. Why would Mason do that? It was his last request. This thing's still busted. It doesn't know what it's talking about. We should have access to Mason's logs. Maybe there's something in there. Abby, whatever we hit, a piece of it shredded my suit. Stings like hell, but spirits, it's beautiful. I need you to go on for the both of us. Don't let that temper get the better of you. Sam, commence transfer. Yes, Pathfinder. Even the stars look brighter. He died before the transfer was complete. That must be the source of Sam's trauma. Why bring me here? What was the point? To complete the transfer, the Torians need a Pathfinder. <sighs> I, I can't. What do you mean you can't? I never thought I'd get the job. My whole career, I worked alone. I don't know how to lead people. I don't want to lead people. 
Avatus, I've seen you protect settlers. You found the Turian Ark. You've already been playing the part of Pathfinder, just without the title. A title that belongs to Mason. Which he wanted you to have. Rejecting it won't bring him back. What if I let him down? You could only do that by walking away. Ah, uh, damn it, you're right. Shall I begin transfer? It'll be safer on the Nexus. Suvi, call Tan. We need a shuttle to pick up the SAM node. Tell him we found the Turian Pathfinder. Hello? It's almost unbelievable that some of the Ket would be fighting their own. The Ket always seems so monolithic, almost faceless. There's so much we still don't know about how their society functions. The stuff you've brought in is helping shed some light on those questions. Speaking of which, this device you found at that destroyed Ket ship, it's secured with a biometric lock that can only be activated with a specific genetic code. So, like a fingerprint scan, except with a genetic fingerprint. Exactly. Whatever's in this, it's probably only meant for trusted individuals. So you're saying I have to track down some Ket? But that would be impossible, Ryder. Remember those Ket genetic samples you scanned on Vault? Lexi's been working on the data, and I have an idea that just might work. We should go talk with her when you have time. Got your memo, Suvi. Data's right here, but I'm not sure what you're expecting to find. Tell me you have it all sequenced. Yes, of course. It was the first thing I. Perfect. Sam, can you test combinations of sequences against the lock? Testing. Brute force, Dr. Anwar? Tried and true methods. And with Sam's processing speed, it should take no time. At... Key found. Whoa. We thought it was a data log, but it but it's not. It's it's uh it just locked onto a transmission. Does it compromise our security? The device is a receiver. It will not reveal our location. This transmission is audio. The Archon has abandoned our way. Spurn's tradition defies protocol. He abuses his authority, obsesses over remnant secrets, and keeps us cut off from home. This cannot continue. He will return to the path of right or be destroyed. This is my promise. An Archon stands tall only while we hold him up. Someone's gunning for the Archon. I'd say that's something we can exploit. You don't mean... try to make some kind of deal? Don't know yet. What else is in the transmission? It's the same stuff. It repeats. I, I wonder if there's a way to trace the signal. Scanning for nav point. I'll transmit it to your Omni tool, in case you want to check it out. What do you think we'll find out there? I don't know. It might be a base of Ket dissidents organizing against the Archon. Whatever it is, please be careful, Ryder.
pretty busy. I'd have left it alone. Pathfinder, this is Nexus Control. I've decrypted the scrambler you found. Sending you the information now. Good job. Pathfinder out. Sam? Hello, Received, Pathfinder. The scrambler contains all the evidence necessary to incriminate Spender. Possible to get. Thanks for your help with those receivers. Our signal's strong and our message is clear. I've heard your reports. You're getting good intel. It's still like pulling teeth to confirm anything out here, but I'm getting by, thanks. Talk to you later, Davis. I'll be here. Hydroponics reports oxygen production is nominal. Drac will want to see this. Thank you for the Kadara nails. They didn't phase Kesh, but she liked the taste. Vorn wanted me to give you this. A uh, plant? A flower. He says it can grow into Chunka, but it has a new life here. I think he was trying to be romantic. <sighs> Sentimental fool. Spending his time growing flowers. It's a waste of time. Has no benefit to Krogan's survival. Does that mean I should return it to Vorn? No. No. I'll keep it. It's sweet, actually. Don't tell him that. Nothing more for now. Try not to die out there. The extra resources from the colonies are really easing our workload. Glad to hear it, Ken. All sectors are showing green. We're caught up on all essential issues. Good job, team. Finally, I'm glad to hear that's resolved. I'll send a representative to the Nexus to work out the details. Pathfinder. We've got everything we need on Spender. Like you her. I've been waiting for this moment for nearly a year. Ready? Let's go confront Spender. Be nice to bring his head back to Morda on a pike. You know, as a gift. I'm seriously tempted to let you do that. You better not be joking because I absolutely will. I didn't have a choice. Arone said they'd kill me. You helped the mutineers, Spender. That was a choice right there. All you had to do was ask for help. Instead, you put everyone else at risk to save yourself. Please, incriminate yourself further. Tell us everything they made you do. What do you know, Pathfinder? You weren't there during the mutiny. You're done now, buddy, and with any luck, they'll give you to me. Everything the Pathfinder's saying is true. Here's the proof. A scrambler packed with logs and credit transfers to exiles. This has been going on since the mutiny. He's been altering files, stealing supplies, communicating with them. We have a confession from Arone, one of the exiles. Arone, on the record this time. We've been working with Spender since the mutiny. He armed us, and now he keeps us supplied. As long as we keep heat on the Krogan. I don't know why he hates them, but he really hates them. I can't even begin to fathom the damage he's responsible for. Like your hands are clean, Kandros? We all wanted the Krogan gone. I just made it easier. 
The Exiles think I work for them, just like you think I work for you. That's what real politics looks like. Right under our noses. God damn it, Spender! The Krogan are gone. Spender forced their hand, and you let him do it. I... Damn it. Damn it! You brought it to me, Pathfinder. I should have acted then, but Tan wouldn't shut up about the Krogan. You're getting a chance to fix this now. Let's start with taking our side when my clan tries to negotiate a better deal with Tan. You need us, and frankly, we need you. You're right. I'll back you up. We'll do it right this time. So, what about him? Lock him up. He won't be the last, but he'll make a fine example. You're just gonna throw me in a cell? Could be worse. We could throw you off the station. Think about that for a moment. Thanks, Ryder. You have no idea how glad I am this business is settled. You sure look thoughtful. Just thinking about the first time Cash got her hands on a toolkit. Master engineer from the day she was born? Quads, no. She worked hard at it. Let's see, the first time, yeah, was our power generator. She took it apart. <laughs> With the blunt side. Wouldn't that cause shorts or something? She liked the fireworks. You can imagine what it was like when she figured out that cracking open bigger things made even bigger sparks. Hydroponics reports oxygen production is nominal. One of your father's memories is available. Let's see it. A moment. There is an added layer of security. What was it Gian Garson said? The code word is... Fulcrum? That worked. This is the last memory your father encrypted, from the final planning stages of Hyperion's departure. Castus, thanks for calling. Not a lot of people still admit to knowing me. I owe you. Those were good days on the Citadel, Alec. I checked with my son, Garrus. He works there now, CSEC. And? He says the Council thinks Commander Shepard's story is bogus. Uh-huh. But? Privately, I've heard they're starting to wonder. This threat? They're called Reapers? Shepard's word for them. Something about a cycle. An extinction event that happens every 50,000 years, galaxy-wide. And supposedly the alarm clock's about to go off again. Unbelievable. I know. But according to Garrus, Shepard's as level-headed as they come. Takes after you. And it's heaven. So, if the Commander says these Reapers are coming, I don't want to be around to see them. Thanks, Castus. Take care. Yes? I checked around. There might be something to this. If there is a war, the scramble for resources will be on a scale we've never seen before. The chaos will be monumental. We should accelerate our timetable. Though we'll keep the reason quiet. No need to alarm anyone. But the arcs must be underway before any fighting starts. We can't get caught in the crossfire. Agreed. Is there something else? Years ago, you mentioned salvation for a lot of people. You knew this was coming. I knew something was coming. In theory. Shepard made it real. And now that you're right? We'll need a new home. We're going to be all that's left of civilization. Sam. Yes, Pathfinder? Track down my kids. Tell them their old man needs to talk. It's urgent. And how is Ellen? 
She remains in stasis. As you hoped, it has suspended the progress of her disease. Make sure her pod is on the Hyperion. Don't use her real name. I'll tell the kids when the time is right. <sighs> Sam, transfer Pathfinder access. Encrypt memories. <sighs> There's still hope for your mother. <sighs> Mom is here? Alive? Alec blocked all knowledge of this memory. I now recall his directive to put Ellen into stasis. He hoped it would halt further progress of her disease until a cure could be found. Sam, this is the best news I've heard in a long time. It is indeed cause for optimism, although Alec did not want to raise hopes prematurely. This is the reason you were made Pathfinder, to see the process through. Where's Mom now? Here on the Hyperion. Ellen is in a stasis pod under a false name. Elizabeth Riley. So this was Dad's plan. Alec could not live with the thought of Ellen recovering, only to discover you had died. He sacrificed himself to ensure you and Scott could one day be reunited with your mother. He was also concerned that what he knew about the Reapers and the Benefactor remained secret. He entrusted you with this knowledge. Additional logs with pertinent information are now unlocked in Alex's quarters. Now we know what Gian Garson meant, that something big spooks the benefactor. It was these Reapers. What do you know about them? A Spectre operative in the Milky Way, Commander Shepard, launched an investigation in 2183 into the existence of an ancient race known as Reapers. According to Shepard's information, the Reapers invade the Milky Way every 50,000 years to destroy any advanced organic life. Allegedly, this cycle has been occurring for millions of years. Shepard claimed the Reapers' return was imminent. But why was Gian Garson murdered? Recall Garson's words about the Benefactor. Now they're moving a hundred thousand of us to Andromeda. I hope it's all for good. But I have my doubts. What does that mean? Who was, or is, the benefactor? Unknown. That was over 600 years ago. Was Shepard right? Did the Reapers come back? Additional locks in your father's quarters have unlocked. Their implications are... troubling. Your father believed it prudent that you have this information, should anything happen to him. Got it. I need to go find Mom. father's personal logs. We've just arrived in Andromeda. Before the rest of the Hyperion wakes up, I've checked our comms for any signals from the Milky Way. Looks like sometime in 2186. Everything went to hell. We got out just ahead of it. Commander Shepard was right. And so was our mysterious benefactor. Alec, this is Gian Garson. For the record, year 2185. It's about Fulcrum. I'm on the Nexus and we're going into stasis for the voyage. Looks like you're already asleep. I'm very uncomfortable with our benefactor and the fact that we still don't know who they are and all these lives in our hands. I should have done something sooner. This is all very troubling, Alec. Let's talk as soon as you reach Andromeda. Jen. I got your message about Fulcrum. It's now 2819. We reached Andromeda, but have no sign of the Nexus. I have the same concerns as you. In all likelihood, the Milky Way... Well, something terrible happened there. At least the Benefactor spared us from that. But why keep hiding? Something's off. But we've got bigger problems at the moment. Habitat 7 may be a bust. Finding a home is all that matters now. This is Paladin Command to all Turian units within range. Under catastrophic Reaper attack. Primarch Fedorian is dead. Ground units are searching for the next in succession. We'll advise when everybody get down!
Alliance personnel. Please stand by for an emergency flash traffic message. This is a galaxy-wide alert for all human territories. Fleet Admiral Stephen Hackett has declared threat condition Saber 1. Enemy presence confirmed in Soul System. Earth under Reaper attack. I say again, Reaper attack is underway. All instructions to follow on coded channel Crimson Tacit. My God, sir. Hello, Alec. This is Liara Tassoni, and the year is 2186. I don't know if you'll even receive this message, but we corresponded years ago. I remember you spoke about a plan to settle Andromeda. I don't know if your arms made it out of the Milky Way, but the worst has happened here. I'm with Commander Shepard and a brave crew. We're trying to build a weapon to turn the tide, but I fear that the civilization you remember, the people of the Milky Way as you knew them, could be gone forever. You may be all that's left. Please, don't forget us. Keep us alive in your hearts. And tell your children of the wonders that once were. On behalf of the crew of the Normandy SR2, this is Dr. Liara Tassoni, signing off. I'm securing these Milky Way reports. This is the only copy and I don't want it getting out. Whatever happened was 600 years ago. Someday we might break the news to everyone if the time's right. I guess we always knew there was no going back. There you are. What's all this about? Okay, this is the pod you told me about. Who's Elizabeth Riley? If you could have one person back in your life, who would it be? Well, Mom, of course. I mean... Hold on a second. Elizabeth Riley. Her initials. E.R. Are you telling me? I saw Dad's last memory. E.R. is Ellen Ryder. He put her here. Scott, it's Mom. I don't... How... Wow. How is this possible? Dad loved her that much. He wouldn't give up. Not even at the bitter end. For a man not given to rash action, his emotion drove his decisions in the end. This is incredible. So Dad being a pain in the ass finally paid off. I want to shake his hand and then punch him. Why didn't he tell us? Dad was being Dad. I'm just glad she's still with us. Well, let's get her out of there. That's inadvisable. Although Ellen is alive, reviving her would trigger the disease, which would prove fatal. Can't we cure her, Sam? It's been 600 years. That was your father's plan. What do you mean? Alec hoped that in Andromeda, we would discover new scientific insights that could provide answers. Our journeys in Helios have indeed provided valuable genetic knowledge, information that could lead to a cure. But patience is required. For the moment, enjoy the fact that she is still alive and that your accomplishments will one day save her life. But she's right here. How long do we have to wait? As long as it takes to perfect a cure. If her life or your father's means anything, we owe them that much. Sam's right. It'll take as long as it takes. No rushing it. My original purpose was to ensure the survival of Ellen Ryder. It is a mission I hope the three of us will one day fulfill. Together.
That's all, Harry. Thanks. I'll be here if you need me. How's it going? Well, I'll let you take it easy then. Be careful out there. It'll look bad if both riders end up in the hospital. adapted to the Scourge's presence. Some even feed on its radiant energy. See this older specimen? The growth ring showed the Scourge's beginnings. The Pathfinder scanner captured it perfectly. Hearing a yes or no would suffice. Specimens! Scans! Our conservation effort can barely keep up. What a wonderful service you've done for us. You've certainly earned your fee. <laughs> Can I borrow your telescope? The light wavelength of the planet might help me. Of course. I hope you find the methane you seek. Well, I could just... Nah. Nice work out there. The geophysics VI is well ahead of the curve. As promised, one consultant's bonus, plus expenses. Enjoy. <laughs>